Hey guys, welcome to my Friday live. Ah, I feel a little discombobulated. I don't even know if that's a word or it's something I always say. Um, but hey, as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Let me know where you guys are um, watching me uh, from what city. So today, new papers. So yesterday I um, had a little, I am having a little sale on the discontinued papers. So you can find those out on my website and all the new papers should be listed on my website as well. So let me just, okay. So, all right. Um, I'm not even going to be able to tell if, well, maybe I can tell a different way if they went live. Um, hold that thought. Let me just double check, make sure they're out there. Oh, yeah. It's been a crazy, crazy morning. I um, wanted to, I had to list everything, make sure it was all legit. And I didn't go, you know, putting things out there any earlier. Um but let me just quick check on this and we will go ahead and start going over the papers. So Royce is calling this her mini release. They are out there. Okay, perfect. Let me go back to you guys. There you are. So there's five new papers, but they are jam packed full of goodness. You guys like really good stuff. You are going to be so excited when you see it. So after this, go head over to my YouTube channel. I just released a video at two o'clock featuring, I did one project with each, and then today we'll do some projects as well. All right, let's just see who is all on. Let me, let me look. Oh, quite a few of you. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we have Kim. Hello, Kim. We also have West Coast Contessa. Hello, hello. Uh, Amanda. Yeah. Yay. New papers. I know. I was so excited, you guys, when I saw them. Hello from very snowy Northern Illinois. Yes. We also got snow here. <laughs> uh, hey, Kelly. Hi, hi, hi. Dawn. Hello. Hello. Hello, Free Spirit. Hello, Jackie. All right, Carol. Wow, lots of you guys. Hey, April. Thanks all for joining. Kathy, Shelly. Hello, Paige. Hey, Ann. Uh, re re recommend daily allowance of crafting. I like it. Hello, hello. Um, I see a bunny. Oh, I see a lot of white stuff outside. Oh, a bunny. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, oh no, Amanda, I'm cranky as well. I'm not actually cranky. I, um, I, I don't want the snow. Um, it was so cute. My, uh, uh, postal guy, he dropped off. Um, so my order got, uh, split in half. So yesterday I got half and then today I got half and, um, he's like, so upbeat and he's like, enjoying the snowy day. I'm like, oh yeah, enjoying it. But um, I heard that we don't have to, I we don't have to shovel or anything because it's already all melted off the sidewalks. So, um, wow, lots of you guys. I can't even read them all. Okay, let's dive into the good stuff, okay? So um, first and foremost, if you guys love um, the Underwood Crate and the, um, oh gosh, Wood Crate Trolley, you are going to love this one. This one is called Crate Collage. And I did a project with this in my video. And oh my gosh, it turned out so good. So good. All right. So it is jam-packed full of all vintage crates. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. But literally, it's all crates, vintage ones. It's so, so cool, you guys. So I, when I opened this up, I was like, oh, my Lord. Um, I was, you know, as a stockist, we get to see these early. And sometimes I'm like, you know, when you see the picture, it just does not do it justice. Like, this is so good, you guys, so good. 
All right, so that is one of them. I'm trying to keep myself organized as well because I'm gonna have to start shipping. I started uh, packing all the orders from um, everything you guys ordered from my uh, ones that are like on sale. So I was like, holy man, you guys are awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, then there's this one where I don't know who said she saw a bunny. That is a good one. Oh, yeah, I should ask. So how, what do you guys all think of this one? The um, crepe collage. So tell me, um, Angela said that this is a good one. Or maybe she's saying this is a good one. But uh, Penny says nice. I'm very happy about the crates. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, Ginger. All right. So I think this is a really good one. I think you guys are going to do a lot of really good stuff with it. So the next one, I just have, I don't have these memorized. <laughs> oh, Paige says, need creek collage right now. Oh, awesome. Okay. So this one, I have to, I have little cheat sheets here, just so you know, just so you know. Okay. So this one is called Spring Elements. And this has eight different images, you guys. Oh my gosh. So um, I saw this one and right away I gravitated towards the nest. So in my video, I use this block, but I mean, initially I was like, oh, look at the cherry blossoms with the bird, the bunny. Oh, I just, they all are so good. Um, Yes, it's so awesome. All right. Let's see. Kathy says pretty. Shelly says that one is sweet. I know. They are, it's so good. Um, Paige says I didn't get new or IOD new release yet, so I could buy her papers. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Um, Royce does a really great job, you guys. I love. All, all the paper she designs. I mean, honestly, everything is so good. Uh, the spring one is precious. Yes, yeah, so that one is called Spring Elements. And then this one is called, okay, this one is called Spring Blocks 2024. I'm gonna just smooth it out a, a a tad here just so you guys can see so this is really cool because the last one which was the spring elements this is four of those elements but larger um yeah but very uh very very large the spring one is precious what's the web address to purchase these i will post it right now let me just do that so it is www. Oh, wrong one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, this one. <laughs> that's for next week. Um, anyways, that's where you can. Uh, my website, sonnetsgardenblooms.com, is where you can purchase it, and then go under shop, and it'll be there. All right. So this is the larger one. I love it. All right. Let me get rid of, oh, let me get rid of this. Okay. Go back into the comments. Perfect. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so I have, yes. Yeah, so you can make bigger items. And on this one, wrong link. Yeah. Wrong link, Amanda. <laughs> That's my surprise for next week. I have a lot going on. I don't even know what links I'm clicking on, you guys. Um, so this one, um, in today's video, I used this this one. I just thought it was so good. I think, I think the whole release is so good. I can't say a bad thing about it. So I love it. All right. So that is number three. Okay, so let's see what everybody's saying about these. Ooh, nice. Getting spring blocks right now. That's great. To make a few bigger, um, I'm down. Can't find crates anywhere on your site. I When I went out there, it's under 
I saw it because that was the first one I looked at. It's crates, um, crate collage. So I saw it on my site. Does anybody else see it on my site? Uh, crate collage. There it is. I see it. I don't want to hit refresh. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You guys, with my technology issues, um, let's see. I saw that on your site. Very exciting. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> which what did you see on my site, Shelly? The all the new papers or um, the wrong link that I clicked on? Because <laughs> I'm setting everything up to surprise you guys next week. All right. Okay. So this is the fourth paper. And the fourth paper is called Pressed Flower Masterboard. And you guys, I think masterboards are one of my favorites. Okay. So like, I love it when she does blocks and masterboards because you get so much good stuff. I saw this and I loved all the font. I loved all the butterflies, the botanicals. I mean, I love this one. This is the wrong link. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is good. All right. Just sort them by latest and the new ones will show first. Okay. All right. So Amanda says just sort them by the latest and the new ones will show first. All right, so this one is called Pressed Flower Masterboard. I really like that. All right. Oh, yeah, West Coast Contessa said butterflies. I need that. Yes. Okay, and this one, I, I'm, this is the Spring Masterboard, you guys. And I think this might be maybe my favorite. I don't know. I, 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 it's a, I love them all, but... I love master boards so much. And this one had, and I love birds, you guys. I love birds. So, oh, I'm really close. I'm really close this time. Here, I'm not close enough half the time. <laughs> uh, I do not have these at the goat, and um, I just got them in. I literally, um, at, at the beginning of the uh, call, or the call, <laughs> the beginning of the live, uh, my order had been split, so it's half was um, delivered yesterday and half delivered today. So I they just went live at 2 o'clock, and I will have them at Antique Up is where I will have them, and at Water Street. I just haven't had a chance to get them there, though, because I just got them. Um, but I, they will not be at the GOAT because I can't have them at the GOAT because there's another stockist um, too close. So... To that one. So they will be at Antique Up and Water Street. Um, all right. So Shelly says, love them all so far. Yes. Yeah, so it's five of them. Um, so it's these five. So let's take a poll. What was our favorite one? Um, I love a good masterboard, Lisa said. Me too. Me too. Penny said she loves this one. All right, I'm just going to set these aside so I don't hurt them. <laughs> I I wouldn't mean to, but... Um, okay, so Free Spirit says she loves spring elements and spring masterboard. Paige loves the crates. All right, Amanda says masterboard. I know, I, I'm loving those masterboards too. I'm going to have to tell Royce more masterboards, right? Right? April said the the first one, which was the crates. Okay, um, uh, Healing Blooms Flowers Farm said the crates for sure. The M A A. I'm assuming that's Masterboard. Oh man, how do you pick? I know Masterboard. Yeah, it looks like Spring Masterboard. Love all the papers. All right, so let's start creating a little with them. Um, the last one, but it's like picking a favorite child, right? I know because she's so good, you guys. So, um, out of the spring master board, I cut a couple pieces out for my video. So, like I said, I have a video going live right now, it just went live, I should say. And, um, but on this one, I really liked this, this image with 
the um, dragonfly and the florals and thing and all of that good stuff. And oh shoot, I thought I grabbed a blue book. Oh, that's that's my luck. I thought I grabbed a, the big blue book and I did not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if it'll fit on here. Darn it. Darn it's on it. Well, that's okay. I don't think I have a big blue book in here. Well, that one I want to put on a big blue book because I love the blue and I, there was a big blue book I have. So, um, all right. Hey, Nancy, thanks for joining. Jackie says birds. Use a bird. Use the birds. Okay, we'll use a bird. We'll use a bird. Okay, we'll just do that. We'll use a bird. <laughs> uh... Oh, <laughs> Paige, um, I'm like, what? I'm out of something. Uh, so uh, just so you guys know, everything that I am out of with the IOD, I will be back in stock on Tuesday. I probably could put it now, but I hate doing that just in case something were to happen. But my order should be here on Tuesday and everything will be restocked. The only item that would not be restocked is the apothecary labels, which are the little tiny letters. They are out of those until May. So um, unfortunately, I sold out of everything I had and now I can't get my hands on any until May. I'm so sad. Oh. Oh gosh, yours and mine, Amanda. So Amanda said, my bank account is crying about all the new releases this month, right? I know and next week is the new release for Debbie's beautiful paints. Wait till you guys see what I create with that. Ay, yay, yay. Lots and lots of goodies. Okay. All right. So we decided we're going to do a bird. Oh, <laughs> go grab your big blue book. I'm like, we might not want to count on I know where the big blue book is. I have a bunch of blue books, and uh, so that's okay. Um, I'll check on it, Nancy. I will check on that for you, okay? Um, there was another veil, too, that said that uh, they hadn't received it. So a lot of them shipped out, but I will definitely check on it, okay? Um, the envelopes will be back in stock then on Tuesday as well. So everything that is out of stock will be back in stock Tuesday for IOD. Yep. Um, oh, crafting with Indy. Annie Jones says, oh, I almost missed it. Yes, we went over the five new papers. So Royce has five new papers out. And we are going to start by using... The first paper that is one of my favorites, it's Spring Masterboard. I've already cut out chunks of it um, and I used it in my video for today. So it is, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was, I thought it was really good. I love, I love it. Hello, Marley. Um, okay, so let's get going. I wanted to put one of these on a book. All right, all right, let's see. I'm gonna do a red book. Or like a burgundy book. Um, <laughs> Nancy says she can't wait to try sweet potato from uh, Sweet Pickens. I know. It's a good one. All right. Let's see here. I am just trying to see which one I want to do. So I think I'm going to do a little, what? well, I got burned last time I did the little white paint, but I'm still going to try it. I'm going to do the white paint, and then we're going to add a, um, a bit of decoupage to it. And I'm trying to see which uh, chunk I want to add. All right. I think I might add this nest. I think I'm going to add a nest to it. I think that'll look really good. All right. Oh, West Coast Contessa said, I ordered sweet potato too. I know I did notice some other people had ordered sweet potato. And I wonder if it was because um, Yvonne of Ginger Chick uh, featured it for her IOD release. She used uh, the sweet potato. I have to watch it. I have yet to slow down enough to actually take a minute and watch it. So I will have to do that this weekend. 
slow down a little bit, watch some um, videos of all kinds of amazing creators. I messaged Yvonne as well. Um, I could not find an actual telephone number for her. She is like on the down low. <laughs> I, but um, I know she does have um, a, uh, like um, a booth. So maybe I'll call like the booth location and leave a message. I don't know. Uh, because I would really like her to be part of my event, um, in, you know, in October. So, oh, April says, good weekend to stay home. More snow is coming. Ew. LOL. The to-do list that keeps getting bigger instead of smaller. Yes. Yes. That's exactly it. Um, my to-do list is getting bigger and bigger. All right, guys. I am taking um, DIY paint and I am going to, um, I had done this on a book where I just kind of randomly put some paint. That's what I'm going to do um, here. Yvonne answers back when I message her on Instagram. Oh, that's good to know. I my message her out there. <laughs> uh, because I sent her an email, but I don't even know if it was like legit her email or not. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Penny said, loved your podcast. Thank you. That was really sweet. Um, Yvonne responds pretty quickly via Instagram messages. Okay. Well, then that's where I'm going to probably have to, to uh, message her. I also thought like, you guys, what if she, she probably has no idea who I am um, or I'm thinking she doesn't. So she might just think I'm a spammer. <laughs> so I don't know. All right. So I am just going to add, hopefully we have no bleed through like we did with the last one, but I am just going to add a little bit of um, paint here and there, just kind of rub it. But I just thought, oh boy, I wonder if she thinks like, who is this girl? Like messaging me, wanting me to be part of her event. What is this event? Uh, Paige says, yeah, she answers me on Instagram too. I bet Yvonne knows who you are. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it is. I am getting some bleed through. Great. Let's see. So what I am going to do, I'm going to try to um, seal it a little bit and then, yeah, I'm going to try to seal it and then go from there. So let me, I'm going to just let this dry for a second and then we're going to, I'm going to seal it and then add a little bit more see if I can seal it in. Um, okay. Let's take a look here. Kelly goes, I'm sure she knows who you are. You're very talented and I'm sure she catches up on your channel. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Um, if she's as busy as I am, she might not even be able to catch up on anything because good Lord, um, all of us that watch her, watch Ginger Chick need to tell her that Sonnet is going to try to contact her. <laughs> I already did. I actually did contact her. All right. Sent an email yesterday, you guys. So I thought I would call her and then the, there was a number, but I think it was for her booth. And then I was like, well, I'm not going to just call her booth, the owner of the booth, and say, hey. So it's okay. Oh, Amanda said, um, Roy's decoupage on a book too and looks awesome. She used the pressed flower one. Awesome. I love it. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's awesome. Let's see. Twins are coming home today. So happy they're doing well. Yeah. That's good news. All right. Let me put this over here. I'm going to just try to seal this because I don't want pink. You probably can't tell, but it's actually like the pink coming through. So let's seal it and let's go from there and we'll see what we can do. Oh, I'm like, guys, look what I bought. <laughs> I love plastic bags. 
or Ziploc bags. So I keep stealing them from the kitchen. I'm not stealing them. I'm borrowing them from our kitchen. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get a box of my own. So I put my zip, I put all my brushes in my Ziploc bag while I'm using them. So let's see here. I uh, just ordered a crate collage and press flower. I received my order, my other order. Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, orders are going out really fast. So that's why I'm like, I don't know. There's like two orders that sometimes the post office scares me, you guys. <laughs> they scare me. I mean, I love them because they get all my orders out, but um, they, it, it just kind of scares me too sometimes. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to try to seal this and see if I can go over it and see if some of this red can be, um, so that the red doesn't come through. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if it's going to work. I don't have... I'm sure that the other, um, I really don't ever get a lot of bleed through, but these books have been giving, giving me some havoc lately. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me that, Jackie. Jackie says, yeah, USPS is weird when you ship stuff to me in Arizona. Oh, boy. <laughs> I want things to go smooth for my people. That's what I want. All right. So, okay, you guys, I just have to spill. So I haven't done it yet, but for um, my video that's coming up, Next week for um, Debbie's, um, she asked me to be part of a collaboration for the new paint that's coming out. And for one of the projects, I am going to take all the new colors and some of the old colors, and I am going to paint a barn quilt on there for you guys. So <gasps> you guys got a little in or a little scoopity doo. So... The colors are that amazing that I'm like, I have to paint a barn quilt with it. Let's see here. Kelly says, I actually like the pink bleed through. Yeah, actually I'm not, I'm not hating it now so much. It's kind of, it's not really pink. It's kind of like a red. I'm gonna seal it and we'll see. I've been waiting weeks on USPS for several Etsy orders. Oh, that's not good. Um, I just am trying to speed up this process a bit. It was weird. A box of paint arrived several days before the envelopes of decoupage. I know. So that's another thing. I always deliver or ship separately all the paint or like hard goods from my soft goods because I don't want, want them to get damaged together or have them together. And always, they always, I'll, I'll ship them both on the same day and you'll get one first and then the second. So I don't know. Okay. All right, guys. So maybe I'll leave it like this and we'll just go from there. Ooh, warm, warm. So that's what it turned out like. I think we're going to leave it. I kind of like it now too. And what we'll do is we are going to add, I don't know what we're going to add now. Let's look. It'd be kind of fun to have some of this in here. I'm going to try to take some of this out of, in here. I think it'll be kind of fun. I like it. Oh, Paige. Yes. So Paige, um, this is what Paige said. Did you really like my rooster project? I need good criticism. Um, Paige, I don't have it on my, um, I have it on my phone. Uh, but Paige sent me this really beautiful piece that she uh, made for her mom. And it turned out really, really good. And now she's wanting to know if I was being truthful. I'm like, yes, of course I was. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, 
All right. So what do you guys think about, I'm either thinking this now. Well, actually I was wanting this on there. I was wanting that, but I don't know. Now I'm looking, I'm like, I kind of am still lean in that route. All right, let's see here. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm, I'm just gonna do it. What the hay, right? What the hay? Okay, I'm gonna do my little handy dandy, which makes Kelly nervous, uh, like super duper nervous. So let's see here. I'm just gonna go all the way around it. All right. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with my live, I am going to be packing orders. I was packing orders before I started the live. I was like in there packing away, trying to get everything out for you guys. All right. Oh, I like it. I like it already. All right. Oh my God. Oh, I am so sorry, Del Marie. Yes. Um, believe me, I am looking at possibly getting different packages too. Uh, because let me tell you, um, they are not delicate at all with, I swear to God, they're kind of, you know what um, the post office reminds me of? how um, the actual uh, people at the airport treat our luggage. I swear. <laughs> I honestly swear that they just throw the stuff in there. I am so careful. Like I put it in the drop it off and I'm so careful with all the packages and I, you know, put everything in there just perfect. And then I'm thinking that they just take it and just throw it. Like they do. I just remember the one time when I saw the guy at the airport and how he was treating luggage. I was like, oh my gosh. So I am so sorry. Once it leaves me though, I have no control. All right. I'm going to put it, I think, right here. And... Let's see here. Um, I don't know, you guys. I don't, I'm not sure if I really, I'm going to add a little white to this. I'm going to add a little white to the background. Yes. Like Amanda says, you can't control the shippers, unfortunately. No, unfortunately we can't. And I, well, one package didn't even, they delivered it and it was an empty envelope for one gal. So I felt terrible about that. All right, I'm going to add just a bit of white. When I mailed something like that, I put do not bend. Well, that's a good idea, too. All right, let me just add a little bit of white to this and see what happens. I just want to add just a hair, a little bit of white. See if it, because it's, I'm not like, All right, let me, there I'm liking that a little bit better. Okay, let me just add a, a tad more here. Yeah, maybe they will be a little, I, I honestly doubt they'll be careful, but maybe. <laughs> I got a package back and they had bent it in half to put it into my PO box. So I'm like, Oh Lord, but I'm trying. Like I said, I, I went and I, I bought some different envelopes, so that should hopefully help. We'll see. We'll see. All right. There I'm liking this a lot better now. Let me grab this. 
right. Okay. There, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna dry this. Well, I'm gonna first put a cap on spills here. All right. Let's see here, April. I recently used the decoupage papers for the background of a couple of projects and posted them on your Facebook pay group page. I received many kind words and likes. I'm now addicted to Roy Cycle. Oh. I try to get out there. I'm going to have, that's going to be another thing on my to-do list. I really do try to get out to my group page and comment as often because there are so many great projects out there, you guys. So if you are not on the group page, definitely check it out. There are so many talented, talented people. Oh, Delmarie, I know, I know it's, I, I just feel bad about it though too, so. Okay, yeah, Paige says, oh, I need to post mine on her page as it took me weeks to complete and I really, really fell in love with it since it was for my mom. Yes, definitely do it. Okay, Nancy, um, I'll, I'm looking into it. If you, if it was your first order, it shipped. Uh-oh, Carolyn from the Yield Goat is calling me. Somebody must want something. <laughs> Not entirely sure what, but um, let's see here. Okay. I almost feel like it needs something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking this one on here. What do you guys think? I think it needs wording. I think it needs wording. That's what I think it needs. I think I'm gonna grab. I think I'm gonna grab um, kindest regards. So let me grab that. That's what I think it needs. It needs a bit of words. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Um. Wait, there's a group Facebook page I haven't joined yet. Yes, it's um. Oh, what is it? I have to, I have to always look because I have my creative network, which is my membership group. And then I have one for like open to everybody to post on. So that's what I'm going to do. I love kindest regards. It's one of my favorite stamps. Mine too. Mine too. Okay. So I am just inking it up with the permanent black ink. Okay, let me do that. Let's see here. All right. Hopefully I got all of this inked. I missed a little bit on top, which is okay. I'm just gonna add this little portion of it up there. There, I like it. Okay, I think that's what it, it needed. It just needed a little bit of. Here, let me see if I can get a close up. Something, something on it. So. Oh my word, what in the heck just happened? <laughs> my computer is doing whatever it wants, you guys got a mind of its own. All right. Now on the back of this, I'm going to paint it white. I just have to find my white paint right here. Oh, hello, Diane. Thank you for joining. All right. So it's called Sonnet's Garden Blooms Creative Outlet Group Page. That's what it is, guys. That is what it is. All right. 
I'm adding just a little bit of white on the back of this so that we can't see the kind of regards wording through it. I'll let this dry. It looks good with kind of regards. I know I like it. All right. Let me, all right, perfect. So that looks good. Great tip for, to paint the back. Yeah, so um, especially this tip I actually got from Royce and from Lexi. And it was during their um, decoupage class that they held. And it is such a good tip, you guys, because um so many times if you want you want it you can't it's hard for you to just paint that specific area so painting the back is perfect um the other thing too is um if i would have known this is what i was going to do or like i was going to cut a piece out uh, on a big piece it's easier to paint the back and then cut it out but this is still just fine too all right. Although I got a little bit of paint on the front. Okay. It's all good. All right. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. Okay. So I'm going to get my favorite decoupage medium. Oh, Del Marie says she has uh, the kindest regard stamp and she loves it. Me too. Um, honestly, even before I started offering IOD, that was one of my very first stamps I ever bought. And I can honestly say I definitely got my money's worth. <laughs> definitely got it out of it. So um, I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to put it back. Okay, just applying a little bit of the decoupage medium to it. I'm going to just wrap that around. Wasn't expecting to do that, but that's okay. Going to roll with it. Okay. And perfect. All right, we're going to let this dry. I definitely want to add a bit of, um, I'm going to definitely add a bit of, um, Wax. I want to add just a little bit of dark wax to this as well. Uh, all right. So Paige asked me, do I ever sell any vintage suitcases that I find? Um, I sell them in my booths. I do put, I have some that I upcycle and some that I just leave and they're all in my booths. Um, oh, hey, Abby. Yep. Don't forget, guys. <laughs> um, oh, I want to line a trunk with the crepe paper. Oh, that is a great idea. I love it. Um, let's see here. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, Paige, I do have to approve you. I was having some spammers on there. And so now I have to... Um, now I require to answer some questions so I know that you're not a spammer. All right, let's dry this baby and then I'm going to add a bit of wax to this. I should have actually, I'm gonna seal it all and then wax it. Hey, Lorraine, oh, uh, thanks. Uh, Lorraine said, enjoying your videos. Thank you. 
All right. If you guys didn't know, I did put out my second uh, podcast yesterday. So, yeah, yesterday I had to think about it. Um, I have uh, the third podcast all ready to roll, and I'm going to get that out there. So, And that will be about um, my YouTube journey and how I started with YouTube. So I'm, gonna, I'm giving you guys a little background about me in these first few episodes. And then from there, um, we're going to do our first interview. So I'm actually doing my very first interview on April 2nd. And then um, that is with my good friend, Kristen. And uh, she is super creative. You guys are going to just love her and you're going to love listening and learning from her. So um, when she joined my membership group, she never, she didn't even have a booth. Uh, she had an idea and she wanted to um, get a booth and she's so super creative and she was making all these amazing um, items. And so uh, very short after, shortly after she joined the membership, she um, started, she actually started with just a bookshelf. And then from there, she ended up getting a booth and then she's now expanded. She went from the bookshelf to a booth and now she's expanded. Um, I think, is it the second or third time? I'm going to have to find that out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's amazing what she's done. Um, yep, Amanda, she is the one that did the shelf the, at the very first time. So yes. All right, I'm going to just dry this a little bit longer. Okay, I love working with the dark wax. We're going to do dark wax. All right. And then let me, I want to seal it though. I'm going to seal it all. Oh, congratulations. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Thank you, Delmar, Delmarie. Oh, let's see here. I am getting my first booth. I move in April 1st. Well, that is awesome and exciting. All right, let me grab this. I'm going to just seal this and then we're going to go. Oh, my word. And then after I seal it, then I'm going to add a bit of wax to it. Maybe even a little bit of, I love how my other book turned out that had, um, okay, there, uh, that I put a little bit of the golden rule on. Yes. So, um, Paige says, congrats. Uh, Shelly says, congrats. Son, and any advice about upcycling this globe? Um, I have quite a few videos on how I upcycled a few globes. So um, I would, I did a whole bunch of them with um, decoupage paper, actually. <laughs> it turned out really, really good. It was when, actually, the very first globe I did I was experimenting with decoupage Royce's paper and I had never used it before. And that is when I fell in love. <laughs> all right. What is the name of the Facebook page where all you can share your stuff? I only see Sonnet's page where it's just her. So it is called, you type in Sonnet's and I should actually have it linked. I'm sorry. Um, it's like my creative network group page. I think you type in Sonnet's creative network group page. So I think that's what it is. Um, let me just see what it is. Okay. So it's right here. This is, oh, why can't I? I'm trying to show. Oh, there. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll create an outlet group page. I must have been really wordy the day that I decided to name it. <laughs> yep. 
Every, yep, that's it. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. So... All right, this is as far as we got with that. I really like it. I think that we definitely need to add a bit of gold and, yeah, a bit of gold and a bit of um, the dark wax. So let's do that. All right, where did I, I'm like, where did I put my scissors? Sonnets Bloomers. Yeah, that's what I should be calling you guys, right? Because it's my brother. Good old brother that he is. Okay. I'm going to just start here. Oh, I want... I want to have some... Some of that... Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it. I think it looks really good. Kind of tones down a little bit of the red a bit. That looks good. And then I'm going to just add a little bit here. All right. So now that I got that, now I just want to add just a tad of the gold. Just gonna add it right around just the edge and then kind of like blend it in. All right, ah! okay. There, oh, I like it, I like it. And just add it to a little bit of the gold also to the leaves and the nest. I think it looks really, really good. I added it all the way around and then I just added it a little bit to the leaves and the nest. I think it looks super cute. I love it. I think this looks really good. So, hope wrong way. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, April. <laughs> she says, my phone is dying and I need to get back to work. <laughs> I'll be sure to check your video out after work. Have a great weekend. You too. All right. So we did one project. We, we did a book. So I think that looks really good. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Love the wax. Love it. I know. I think it looks so good with the wax, you guys. I'm just going to leave that there. All right. Let's do another project and then I can let you guys go, I guess. I mean, I feel bad. It's a, so much later in the day, right? Normally I'm on here at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays and uh, here it's two o'clock and well two o'clock central time so a bit later i was worried i thought for sure you guys were gonna all show up early i'm like i bet you that they're gonna be showing up early but okay so i have this cute little box here i thought that was super cute there is a little bit i wonder if i can get that paper off or maybe i can just embrace it i don't know but i was trying to see what i had left 
of this paper. Not very much, you guys. I was trying to see what, if anything, I had left over for my projects. So there was that. Um, all right, let's see here. What do people do with all the creative books they update? Um, I put mine in my booth and I sell it for um, shelf sitters. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, let's see. Hey, Sonic, question for you. What is the difference in the DIY wax and the tub fusion wax you used the other day? Is it just preference? Um, tub fusion wax. Did I, I don't think I used, we were talking about the fusion wax. I haven't used it yet. Um, so that is what I'm going to have, I'm going to experiment with. Um, the different, uh, where did I put, did I, because I think, okay, so I have the waxes available at the Yield Goat where I have them. I just haven't had a chance to check out the difference between DIY wax and fusion wax, but I plan on doing it. And I, I keep looking over on my shelf because that's where I have all my fusion products, but I put all the waxes over at the Goat. But I promise that I will be doing something. I'll order some extra ones for here. And then we will go to town and I'll play around with them. All right. Because I like doing that. I like uh, playing around with, you know, like checking stuff out, seeing how it works. Trying out some new products because I have to experiment with all different stuff. I can't just always use DIY, right? Yeah, I love it so much. All right, I'm just trying to see here if there's something that will fit on the front of this perfectly. Actually, this will. I love it. This is what we're going to use. We're going to put... So the nice thing, too, about the papers, you guys, is that you don't have to just use it as a whole piece. You can, but I really love the look of just a little pop of the green there, and I like the floral and the black and all of that. So that's what we're going to use on top of this. Let's see if we can get rid of this on here. I don't even know. We'll see. We'll see. I lost my little scraper. I, I think I brought it into the garage. Oh, my life, my life. I need an extra one. It was like this little tiny scraper that I had. It was absolutely perfect, you guys. It was perfect. It was a green one. Uh, it had a little razor blade on it. Oh, hey, Vicki. Vicki says, Fridays are my day to source. Today we went to a salvage shop. I got some great spindles and locks and, oh my gosh, and cabinet doors, pieces of wood for a project we were doing. I needed it after this week. Aw. Sometimes you just need to thrift. I know that feeling. I'm needing something. But I'm going to do it after um, after next week. All right. Let's see. I just want to see if I can get any of this off. Oh, my gosh. This might... I wish I had my little scraper guys it would, it would be perfect um well this is not this is not ideal but that's okay i will get this off in a second hello beverly from texas 
thanks for joining. So we are, we had gone over all the products, the new uh, recycled papers that are in stock now on my website. There should be plenty for everyone. Um, so yeah, definitely made sure I grabbed enough. Um, and then I'm putting them, like I said, I'm putting them in my boots. They are awesome, though. Um, sure. Let me, um, oh, okay. Good one. Yep, I did. So, um, I have used the dark oil wax from Sweet Pickens. So, um, that is a good point. And then that is, uh, a little different than regular wax. So, yes. Is that the, um, comment that you wanted me to highlight page i'm assuming okay i'm almost done guys and then we can get rolling let's see here could you use oh gosh that's a good point <laughs> maybe i can don thank you i am just like All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. No, under that, about what not. Um, okay, I'll, um, yes, Jackie goes, I always misplace the little tools. I do too. All right. I'm like, this is we're, it's going to be like the day that I had the malfunction with <laughs> the wet top coat with uh, with the transfer. And you guys had to watch me mess around with that for like, I don't know how long, right? I'm like, oh my gosh. I started sweating and I was getting such a workout by putting that transfer on. Okay. We did it. We got it off or as much of it off as it's going to be. Pretty much all of it was off. So that's good. I just wanted to start with a really nice flat surface. I am going to use white underneath it. All right. Let me just make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing. You can. So I found this little box at the bins and I thought it was super cute. It's don't even know what it necessarily is. I think it probably was some kind of cigar box possibly, but it was so darn cute. I love the shape. And I think this little um, piece of decoupage paper is just going to make it look super cute. All right. So this week starts uh, spring break for my daughter. Maybe I could uh, rope her into helping me with one of my lives. What do you think? Probably not. <laughs> Very hopeful though, right? We'll see. I'll talk to her. Some days she's wanting to hang out with me. Other days, not so much. All right. Let's see, got that. Okay, so we painted it. Let's dry it. Um, there. Lots of commotion happening outside, too. Teenagers, I know. Teenagers is right, guys. Oh, I love her, but some days she wants to know why I ask so many questions. Because <laughs> I need to know what's going on, you guys. So then yesterday she says to me, oh, yeah, by the way, um, Grandma's picking me up at this time, and we're going here. And I said, well, don't you have school? And I didn't realize they had off today. 
oh no, I have off today. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's why I ask so many questions normally. So I know what the heck's going on. I swear. And I swear they used to call me and tell me things, but they don't anymore. Okay. So I always like to leave just a little bit of an overlap. And we're going to have some of the... All right. So I think I'm going to do it just like that. And... So then we still have the teapot to do whatever we want with. So that's really good. So I'm going to fold that back up, put that back together. All right. And then I'm going to line it all up. We're going to then start to decoupage. And what did I do with this? Over here. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, Paige says, her teenager is 14, but is amazing. We just overhauled his entire room while he was gone for a week. He is ecstatic and appreciative. Oh, good. That's awesome. I think sometimes girls are a little sensitive. All right. We'll just say sensitive. <laughs> okay. Let's break out the decoupage medium and go to town. All right. I know on one of my videos, somebody had asked me and um, about how I dip into my decoupage and my big top. And the reason I do and um, is I use a lot of it, you guys. I go through it quite often. So, um, yes, you probably do not want to do what I do. You probably want to um, care, have like an extra dump it out so it doesn't get um, funky because uh, DIY is like an all natural product. So it's got um, it's all natural. So, yes, you definitely want to um, put it in like a separate container. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm liking this a lot, you guys. I just love how just adding a simple piece of paper to something like this as a decoupage that it completely makes it look like a totally different piece. The other key thing is you want your decoupage medium to go on very um, evenly. You don't want to have it a clumpy uh, that can cause um, wrinkles. So just nice and even. And then I just start on one side and I just work my way down. I always just add a little bit of decoupage on my brush as I'm evening it all out. All right. Perfect. That looks good. Oh boy. Trying to figure out what Lily is getting into. I hear her in the front. Okay. And then the last thing is to just even out this side, work it into all the little, there's like kind of a couple little crevices on here. You want to work it into that. Okay, looks good. All right, I love it. And so then I'm gonna let this dry and then sand off the excess. 
and I don't know, maybe I'll do something, maybe, I don't know, I kind of like the look of the box, but we'll see. What do you guys think? Okay. Um, I don't know how my parents put up with six girls, Debbie said. Oh boy. I don't know either, Debbie. Your parents were saints. <laughs> Let's see. I missed, uh, what did I miss here? Um, you have such a keen eye for upcycling. I can't think up things like you do. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, let's see here. Did Roy Cycle retire a ton? I didn't get to those videos yet. I am enjoying your podcast. Thank you. Yes. Um, like Penny said, 19 papers. She retired. Um, and, uh, but worth it. My parents said most, oh, all right. Um, so Penny says maybe the green. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like maybe either something with green or even like black would kind of ground it, but we'll see. I'm going to let this dry. Um, but yeah, 19 papers were retired and, some, I hit something. <laughs> um, but some of them were really, really good. Oh, hello. Um, we boys are rebunctious also. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, maybe green and then wet distress it back to the wood. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of what I was thinking. I really like that green color. I think to bring that out or a pop of that. Um, but yeah, so those are the two projects. Um, but because I have like a ton of orders to package for you guys, um, I'm just going to wrap things up. I'm going to just chat with you for a minute and then wrap things up. Um, I actually had two more things that we were, we could do projects with. Uh, so, I mean, if you guys want me to stay, I can, <laughs> but, or I can start packaging your orders. So, um, I just, uh, I like, I wanted to get them all out today. So, um, but Anyways, I wanted to say on Monday, let's see, I think I'll probably just uh, maybe work on maybe some of these projects. Uh, let's do the projects. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do more. Okay, we can do more. That's fine. We'll do more, guys. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, we'll do more. Oh my gosh. Pack our orders. Half of them are basically packed. And then now I just saw a bunch of orders coming through, which I am so excited about, but, um, do not worry. The post office is open till six. So hopefully I'll get, I'm going to only stay until four with you guys finish packing. And, um, if I get them out, either I'll get them to the post office tonight or tomorrow morning they open up and they're open until three. So they will be out either tonight or tomorrow. Um, can decoupage be done on canvas? Yes, 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 yes. Um, you can definitely decoupage on canvas. So I was actually at um, the bins, go figure, right guys? And I found somebody had actually cut all these gigantic tags out. I thought, wow, they're pretty good. So I grabbed them all. I thought it'd be kind of fun to like have like a huge tag, like hanging off of maybe like a wreath or something, or what do you guys think? Um... <laughs> oh my gosh, Kelly, you, you are killing me today. One day isn't going to kill us, but we have to go the entire weekend without seeing you. Oh, you are so sweet. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, you can pretty much decoupage on anything. And that is absolutely true. Um, yeah, so somebody made these. So that's why I was like, I don't know what I just thought I grabbed them. And I'm like, well, maybe we could decoupage on here or something. Um, also, if it is too long, you know, I can always cut 
um, so I can cut some, you know, cut it down as well. So let's start there. I'm going to just see, I am loving this paper. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Vicki says she's opening up a third booth in April. Just ordered my DIY and JRV for that booth. Going over to paint a hutch for the booth tomorrow. Ooh, awesome. I love it. That's great. I always like it when um, people are expanding. So if you didn't listen to my podcast, it was about booth life and how I started off having my storefront and I went from having a, you know, a brick and mortar to um, opening my first booth and then ending up getting a whole lot more. And now I've settled on the booths that I have now. So um, it was quite the little journey I was on for a bit there. All right, let's see. Kind of like this. And then I talked about how I could cut it. So um, I think that's what I'm probably going to actually do. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put this on here. I think this will look really good. And then uh, cut it down. So let me... I'm going to actually... Think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna cut it down on this line. All right, let's see how long I want it. Oh, Vicky said thanks. That's why I said vignettes would be a good one, and I am gonna talk about vignettes on one of the podcasts because. One thing, if you guys have been following me long enough, um, or if you're in my membership group, I always love chatting about vignettes because they are so important and like, um, I just love it. I love trying to figure out different color combinations, uh, different levels. Uh, so yeah, I love talking about all of that. So I will definitely be talking about that on a podcast. Oh, please use the crates paper. I can definitely use the crates paper too. I could use the crates paper on here. I just was like, I well, I'm gonna for sure use this on one of them. Let's see here. I don't know if I, I was actually thinking about using the crates paper on that one, but I only have like chunks of it left because guess what? I use this all in my video for today, you guys. So, I don't know if this, I mean, I could still cut it down here. I just don't know how this is going to look. None of these are really big enough. And I'm leaving all the paper for you guys. This would be kind of fun, though, all the way down. All right, let's do it this way. We'll do in this. <laughs> Paige goes, okay, I'll just watch your video then. That's okay. We'll do this too. I don't mind doing this. Um, let's start off by painting it white. I'm going to do... All right, let me paint white here. And then we'll add the paper. And this will be good. I think this will look really fun too. I think that um, the back I'm going to paint um, weathered wood. Uh, so in my video today, what I did is I took um, an old, like a crate that I had picked. And it was very, very color. Well, I would say it was pretty colorful. Um, and so what I did is I painted it, um, the underside white, and then I added a whole bunch of the crepe paper to it. It turned out so good, you guys, or I think it did. You will have to tell me what you think when you watch it. It completely transformed the entire crate. Let's just put it that way. 
But on the crate, um, on the bottom and inside, I used weathered wood. And then I also used weathered wood um, in uh, different, um, like just to touch up certain areas too of the crate. Um, uh, when I put it on, there was just like a couple like little blemishes and it has like almost like the weathered wood look. So it worked out really, really good. Okay. All right. All right. Just, uh, let's see here. So Jackie says, just kidding, but seriously, Kelly, it does kill me as I'm getting ready for a big craft market April 7th. If you ever went to any of Sonnet's boots, Oh, Boos, her vignettes are so adorable. Oh, well, thank you. Yes. So if you guys do decide to come for my October event, I you can then possibly hit up some of my Boos then at the same time. Is there a way to on-warp wood? Um, I do not know. Does anybody on here know if there's a way to on warp wood? I I don't know. What kind of wood do you have that's warped? Doesn't sound good. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to pull this over a tad. Okay. And I'm just going to cut this. I don't know, Penny. I'm sorry. Okay, then I laid it out. I and I think this is gonna look kind of fun. I don't know what I'm gonna put on this big old tag, but I think this is still gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I think it'll be. You can apply heat, moisture, and pressure, and sometimes that can work. Amanda said about on warping wood. Good to know. All right, here we go. I have to open up my decoupage first, then we'll do it. Then we'll go, here we go. You can try wetting it again and using clamps to clamp down on several areas. It might or might not work, but that's the only way I know of. Okay. How warped is it? I had a board, or I actually had a board that warped so bad. I was like, oh my goodness. I don't even understand why it warped that bad. It was crazy. It twisted. It warped so bad. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. I want to move it over just a tad. Just like that, I guess. All right. Perfect. That's way better. It was, I had, it must have slipped. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the slip, you guys. It must have slipped a tad. And all right, let me, okay, put this down. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is going to look kind of fun. I'm trying to figure out how what I can put on here or what I can use with this, but it, I think it looks kind of cool. It's like an old, like a just a old, like an old tag with all these pieces of vintage crate. I think it looks kind of fun. Okay, let me close this up. Yeah, no Stephanie today. Well, I'm glad that she showed up the one day. Washington State here, just finished watching Royce. How's Royce? She 
doing good. He's got a lot of irons in the fire, guys. I love her. Yeah, somebody said that she did a book too with her papers. Awesome. I love it. I know. All right. So I think it's going to look kind of fun. I'm just going to cut this like this. So you guys can kind of get a visual. So it's like a ginormous big tag. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but we're going to make it look cool. Actually, I love the colors. Like, I just love how all the different tones. Shoot. My finger stuck to it. Kelly says she likes it. Thank you, thank you. All right. I don't want to start too early. You guys know how I can get impatient. I'm gonna probably let it let it dry. Let's go back to this project. Yeah, I'm loving this too. I think it looks kind of fun. I don't know. I'm not sure like what the person was thinking when they cut tags out that were like so ginormous. Probably like the person, why would the person buy all the tags that are ginormous? Me. I was like, I could do something really fun and cool with that. Oh, now I just scratched it. Son it. Okay, that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to drop it and then scratch it. But that's what weathered wood is there for, guys. So I'm going to show you how to fix my little boo-boo. All Okay, so you must be responding to somebody. I didn't see the comment in there, but Amanda says she hasn't announced all the details yet, but it will be an event in October with different creators and activities. Yes. So I am still working out a couple of the details, but I'll have all the details available by the end of April. Um, so you guys, I did my first paint and lay yesterday and right off the bad. I put the paper on the wrong side down. Ooh, no. Um, hang a couple skeleton keys with some twine on it. Oh my gosh. Great idea. I love it. That will look really cool. That would look really neat. I could, um, yes, I love it. That is a great idea. Thank you, Donna. LOL. Oh no, Jackie. <laughs> oh, that's a really good idea. I like it. I do have some skeleton keys too. That would look really good. And it will go with like the whole like um, vintage vibe of this. So I really want to sand it now. So I'm going to just do it. Since I think I'm going to probably keep it for myself. And then I'm going to just show you what I mean by, okay, I'm, I'm doing this far too soon. So one thing that you need to know about your decoupage paper, you don't want to sand it too soon. If you do, um, you risk the possibility of your paper tearing or, um, yeah, basically tearing or like ripping a little bit like it did there. 
but this is more of an experiment for me, so it's okay. I've learned to embrace my the imperfections of things. All right. Okay, done, Zoos. All right, so now we got it all out. And I think it looks really kind of cool. You could use the keyhole molds. Oh, oh, that would look cool on there too. Putting like one on there. That would look really fun. Oh, okay. Vicki said I should reach out to Jen Fun. I thought from Rustic Rehabs. Is it done or is it fun? I thought it was Jen Dunn. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see here. Sonnet, you should reach out to Jen Dunn. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be a good idea too. Especially, well, like I said, I reached out. Um, I have been very busy. So I finally reached out to some of um, the creators that I that are in the Midwest here. Um, I just sent the email like really late last night or yesterday. So um, I mean, I figure I'm probably not like the top on their to do list. So Okay, so I'm taking weathered wood and I am going to just paint the edges and I'm going to show you how this totally transforms the look of this. And then I'm going to show you how to fix some boo-boos here. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Joan asked if this is one of the new papers and yes, it is. It is called crate, crate. Um, what is it called? Oh my gosh. I don't have these memorized crate collage. I almost said crate trolley, yeah. but crate collage is what it's called. And it is one of the new ones. Okay. So now there's a little spot there where I ripped it by accident, what I'm going to do is just take that weathered wood and I'm going to add a little weathered wood. And then I'm just going to like kind of rub on it and just blend a little bit more weathered wood in there. And then you don't even notice it's there. And there's like a little tiny blemish there. Rub it in. There's like th these little rub it. And you don't have like you will not notice any of it. And then at the end, what you'll want to do is seal it. But it works so good. Weathered wood is like one of my favorites. Here, I'm, thank God I, it's mine, right? All right. So that is a really good idea. I like the idea with the... Um, the lock and key mold. I like adding that, like, a. I think I am going to add like a lock to, or a, yeah, a lot. There is a long lock. I think I'm going to do that. I think that would look really cool. And I think I'm going to add, I have some vintage skeleton keys that I'm going to add to. So this would look, actually look really, really cool in like on a, um, a wall of, re, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I can't even think right now, you guys. All the boo-boos are gone. They are. All the boo-boos are gone, and I'm going to seal it all, and you'll never know the difference. You will never know. So I would paint the back, too. I'm going to, yep, I'm going to definitely paint the back, too. Carolyn, you are my kind of girl that I like to finish everything. Like the, the one thing that got me when I first started, um, upcycling was I went to, um, like, uh, 
kind of like uh, a yield goat, but it wasn't the goat. And there was this chair that I really wanted. It was um, just so cool. It was, it was really, really neat. So long story short, I end up buying this chair. Okay. And I did not know until after I bought it that when I flipped it up to put it in my truck, the person didn't paint anything on, like they painted the top of the spindle, but not under the spindle. So like the whole underside of everything was not painted of any of the spindles. It was just, a, it was really not a good um, paint job is what I'm trying to say. After that experience, I just said to myself, if I paint things, I'm always going to be painting the underside of everything um, and completing my projects. Uh, even on like signs and stuff, um, I would go to like events and these people would make these beautiful signs and then they would turn them over and they were like bare wood. And I'm like, no, you need to, um, you need to finish it, you know? <laughs> So now I have this tiny little paintbrush here and um, I'm going to have to finish this whole backside. I probably should grab a bigger one. All right. Um, yeah, it would be fun to collab. Maybe I could have, um, I know Janet seems very busy, Vicki. Um, she has her shop and stuff, and I know she goes and does lives too, so I'm not sure if she would be able to do something. I'm going to try to grab a different paintbrush. This is far too little, um, but yeah, that would be fun. I met Jen actually when I went to a conference in Florida, so she's super nice. And she was doing lives even before I started doing lives, but she's super, super fun. All right, finish this up. And I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do another, but I think I like your, um, I think we're gonna finish this on Monday, I'll grab all the stuff that I need for um, to do the lock and key on here. I'm just going to show you what this looks like so far. And then we'll recap what projects we worked on. I think I have a few more PhDs here, you guys. Projects half done. We're going to have to finish on Monday. So I have a ton of stuff to get done this weekend. So they ain't going to finish this weekend. That is for sure. All right. So let me just finish this, drying this up. All right. Let's see here. I just love her. Uh, we stopped there last year to see her shop. One, um, one trip through Wisconsin. Oh. Awesome. She has staff, LOL. Oh, good. Sometimes, at, I mean, like when we had our shop, we were each, like our, we were the staff. I mean, so that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> Kelly, right? Why was, because I had it for the edges and then I'm like, oh, do I really want to get another paintbrush out? And then I'm like, I'm getting another paintbrush out. Next week, you is going to use some of the Fusion products also. Thanks, Penny. <laughs> yes, you guys have to keep me on my toes. All right. So this is, this is done. Well, it's not done, but it's pretty much done. So I like it, you guys. I like the tag. I think it looks kind of fun. And I think it would look really, I am going to... Um, I'm going to seal it and then I am going to, I think I'm going to take a lock mold and I'm going to put, the, I think there's a, well, let me look. Oh, you guys. 
Um, here. This is the one I was thinking of. This really long one, the long lock. I think that would look so stinking cute on here. Either I what do you think? I think the long one would look really really good. And I think maybe painting it in the color of weathered wood and then possibly um putting like maybe even some like a white the gold wax or white wax. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Project's not started. Oh my gosh, you are funny, Joan. Oh, I've had a lot of laughs today. I have been stressed out. Like, um, because I have like a to-do list, like you wouldn't even believe you guys. Um, yeah, so I think that's gonna look good. I think this is what we'll do. Um, we are gonna finish this project on Monday. Um, I also want oh no, this isn't dry yet. I want to finish this project. So we're going to decide on a, a base color for this. This project is complete and I love it. I think it turned out so stinking cute. I really do love it a lot. Um, so that one's done. And then um, what I wanted to try is I wanted to attempt to uh, use a paint inlay infusion. So I am going to find a piece and we're going to use the new paint inlays and we are going to put it in fusion. So I did receive a message and the message um, was from a viewer and she said that she's tried it and it works great. And I saw it out on the stockist page too. So I have yet to try it and I definitely want to. So that is what I'm going to, that's what we're going to do then next week too with fusion. And then I plan on placing an order with the waxes and we'll play around with the waxes too. And the, I will try to see if we have any decoupage medium here. I uh, That's one of my things on my to-do list is I have this new racking system and I it comes with these grates and the paints are not sitting on the grates properly. So my husband had all these boards. So I'm going to cut the boards and we're, I'm going to put boards on there and I'll have to show you guys if I get it accomplished this weekend. Although... Whoever said we're supposed to get another snowstorm, like I think it was April. I'm like, great. <laughs> great. Oh, let's see here. Um, let's see what. Uh, all right. So just one opinion on it. I use liquid patina for decoupage and getting low. Yes, that's a good point. Um, I do, too. And I swear it's in here. I just have to find it. Um, there's some boxes on top that I have to go through. So we'll find it. We'll find it. Um, all right. And then just breathe. We're not going anywhere. So don't worry about us. Take some time for yourself. Oh, thanks. Yes. Um, Penny says, have a wonderful weekend. Yes, you guys too. So thank you all for joining me today and like experimenting with these new uh uh, recycled papers. They are so awesome. I'm super excited to play around with them even more. Uh, I do have five projects on a video uh, that went live today at two. So definitely check that out if you want to be uh, inspired just a little bit more. And then um, we'll finish working on all this stuff so that I don't get any more um, P projects half done. I don't, I don't need another PhD. So, all right. Um, we will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.